Uh, good evening from Tokyo, good evening uh, Kuala Lumpur. Thank you very much for being part of uh, Personal Branding Community. So as you know, my first question is, can you uh, let us know how you became, who are you today and what is your story? Um, so thank you so much for having me in your um, interview. So my name is Steph. I'm actually from Hong Kong, but then I moved to Kuala Lumpur in 2020. So who I, uh, what I've done and become who I am today? Well, this is actually a, a pretty big question. Um, maybe I start with why I'm here in Kuala Lumpur first. So um, I used to be uh, working in a co-working space in Hong Kong, and then I started my own coaching business last year. However, I feel like in Hong Kong, um, I don't really like the vibe there, um, especially because of the protests and also, yeah, especially if, uh, because of the protest. So I feel like the whole energy there was not really fitting me. Um, but then I was having a wrong mindset at the same time. Like I want to escape from Hong Kong. Um, I was really hating Hong Kong. I was feeling so depressed. And I'm so lucky that um, if you guys are in personal development, I'm sure you've heard of the company called Mind Valley. And I was thinking, hmm, I actually want to try and see if I can move to Kuala Lumpur and worked in Mind Valley, and at the same time having my coaching business because um, in Mind Valley actually a lot of people they have their side hustle because we all want to make an impact to the world, right? Mm -hmm. And I was just trying out to to uh, to apply for that, and I'm so lucky that throughout my uh, interview process, my friend actually invited me to join a 21 days abundance challenge, which is about mindset, and I was like okay, I, I'm happy to try it out. I've never been that committed to do a 21-day challenge every single day, about 30 minutes. And if I'm not doing the homework, I'll actually be kicked out. So I know that, okay, I must do it. And after 21 days, there's no aha moment, I tell you. There's no aha moment. But with these small changes, after 21 days, I actually transformed. I start thinking, wow, I, I'm so abundant, actually. And I start thinking, hey, I'm not, just escaping from Hong Kong, but I'm now exploring the world. And I don't know where I'm going to move to next, uh, maybe in the next few years, I don't know. But then I know I'm still moving to Malaysia, but the mindset is totally different. Mm. And because of that, I start seeing a lot of opportunities coming. Everything is start coming the own way. When I'm focusing on the future, all the current problems, they, they fix themselves. Yeah. So I've got a visa problem and it got... Um, it, it, it just completed very smoothly and um, with the fly problems it just fixed itself smoothly like everything it's like step by step it becomes so easy for me and now I'm moving to Kuala Lumpur um, at the moment I'm now working uh, with Mind Valley to create great online programs to impact millions of lives so I'm really excited about what I'm doing right now um, yeah, and this is a very short introduction about what I'm doing and why I'm in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, Steph, your story. Um, uh, one part of me is uh, sad because I really like Hong Kong and then energy, which I, I remember Hong Kong had uh, as, as a city. But at the same time, you are right. Like when we uh, move from uh, uh, our hometown in some other place, first we maybe face some challenges, but then we realize soon that the world is, uh, uh, there are so many opportunities we are not aware when we are just stuck on one place for, for, for a long time. That happened to me too, so I completely understand how you feel right now in Kuala Lumpur, especially in that kind of great community, as, as you mentioned, Mind Valley. Especially like um, when I'm doing more about coaching, right? A very key point is actually I'm developing myself at the same time right? Instead of like coaching others, I need to grow myself faster. So I think like in my Valley is the perfect playground. We always use the word playground for me to grow personally, professionally, so that I can give more value to the people that I want to serve. So what gets up you in the morning? What is the feeling? How you want to make an impact on yourself and on other? Yeah. Every day? So I would say both 
um, inside and outside, right? Inside, I really want to uh, help people to really shift the mindset from scarcity to abundance. It's really, really important because I think that's number one. If, if you want to become successful, actually 80% is psychology and 20% it's the actual mechanics, right? So, um, so I'm definitely interested to help people to grow on both areas. So in terms of personal growth, I want to help people to actually gain more clarity about what they want to do in life because I truly believe we all have a passion, we all have a mission, and we can actually turn that mission into a business to make profits because a lot of people, they think that actually making money, it's, it's not good, but I tell you, it's not because money is just a result. The more people you help, it, the more value you give to people, it, in return, you get the money. So if you're not making money or if you're afraid of doing marketing, if you're afraid of doing sales, it means you're not confident with your own product or service. If you know that you're doing a good thing to the world, why, not you, why, why don't you promote your products to people, right? Because you know you're going to help them. You know you're going to create value to them. So inside, there a lot of people have some blogs like, um, about how to become successful, um, how to build more confidence, how to gain more clarity. This is one side. On the other side, I want to help people on the marketing, like how can they really get a concrete message of what they want to do. How do you recommend other people if they want to change themselves? Is it just enough to change their mindset or they also want need to change the people who are surrounding them as well? That, that's such a really great question. This is one of the reasons why I decided to take a huge leap to leave Hong Kong and move to Malaysia. Everybody thinks I'm super crazy, including my parents, including all my friends, all my teachers and everyone. But because I have that intuition, I know what, what is my intention to come to Malaysia. And one of the key things is because I want to have a good vibe. I want to have a good environment. I want to have a good peer group. This is exactly answering your question. Actually, if, if you want to become successful, think about if you're – looking for level 10, right? And if all your peers are like level one or level two, think about what kind of conversation are you guys having, right? It's definitely, you're not in the same frequency. Like when you're playing the TV, you're in different channels, right? Then how can you communicate? Like they don't understand you, you don't understand them. So the conversations ends there. Either you inspire them to grow or they just drag you down. Oh, let's smoke, let's have cigarette, let's drink alcohol, something like that. So, however, I think it's really difficult to actually change other people's mindset. What you can do is pick the right brains that you want to, you want them to become your friends. So go to places where you can meet very cool people, very motivational people, very action takers so that you guys can hold each other, each other accountable to do whatever you want. So the, one of the things that I learned a lot from Mind Valley about personal growth is that it's really, a, really key to have accountability. And it's about like constant feedback that we, we inspire each other, we give feedback to each other so that we are growing at the similar pace, right? It's not about I outgrow you or you outgrow me. I'm not competing with you. I'm just competing with myself. But if you have someone who is holding you accountable, then, hey, let's say you want to uh, you want to keep fit. So every time when you go to the supermarket, I'll remind you, hey, don't go to the ice cream column. Don't go to the chocolate column. And if I want to um, start building my own online business, right? So at night after work, I shouldn't be watching Netflix, right? I should be checking out ClickFunnels. I should be reading books about how I can run my online business. So it is so important that you have someone to inspire you, to guide you. And it would be great if you can find a peer group which you hold each, account, each other accountable. Maybe like every week, I recommend every week, we go through what are our goals and how much have you achieved and what are the roadblocks, how we can help each other. I think this is the key. Like, you don't need to rush, but you need to start moving slowly. At least you need, you, you need to, to have some momentum. You need to start taking actions to move forward. I think this is so, so, so much important. 
I also found uh, in your introduction that you're currently working on uh, on one uh, project, which is a, a series of videos, Achievers in Action. So yes. could you please let us know a little more about your current project? Sure. So two years ago, I started off with making just random videos about motivation because I have a great passion or interest. Every time when I go on to YouTube, I found that I was actually watching all those motivational videos in any aspects. So I'm thinking, huh, well, there's always a, a block. I think I, I cannot make videos because I'm camera freak. But then I was really inspired by my uh, friend that he said, why, if people can, can do these videos, why can't you do it, right? So I said, okay, why not? I'll just try. And then I actually take so many shots and I do a lot of editing, crazy editing. And then I launch it uh, in 2018. And I wasn't expected that I got so, so, so much enga engagement. It was totally out of my expectation. And then I start doing it regularly every two weeks. But then I was thinking, hmm, if, but then by that time again, I have that scarcity mindset. Do you, do you know why I do it every two weeks? No idea. Because I think that I will run out of ideas. Therefore, I don't want to do it so regularly. Actually, I have the time, but I think that, well, if I do it so regularly, then all my ideas will be, will be, will be done in one month. Then what am I going to do next month? So I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll do it every other week so I can at, at least lengthen it. And until last year, I realized that this is not how things work. If I really want to grow and if I really want to impact people, actually, I, I should, first of all, I need to be so abundant. Mm -hmm. I need to be open to give value to people. And it is so crazy that the more videos I create, the more ideas I give out, the more ideas will just flow into me. It, it, it is crazy. This is how the world, the world works. Because the more I give, I free up the space so that more ideas can come. It's just like, let me use a very simple example like you're eating right and if you're eating and if you're not poop pooping then all the food are just stuck in your body right you can't eat so much because you don't give it out but the more you give up you empty your stomach then you can eat more that's simple right so that's why in 2020 i'm so committed that hey every single day i'm going to post one video just make it short one minute video but then i do the quantity, I want to keep myself disciplined and I also want to give maximum value to my audience. And right now, um, I'm still doing this challenge because it's like one year 2020, therefore it's 366 videos. And um, feel free to check out my any social media account. You will easily see any of the video because on any day, if you come, you'll see a video. Yeah, this is. And also, it's also about action taking, right? So I truly believe all the achievers, they must be action takers. It's not about how smart you are or how intelligent you are or how disciplined you are or how whatever you are or how confident you are. It's all about taking massive actions. Okay, what kind of impact you want to have in, in this year and maybe upcoming years with your business, with your coaching business? Yeah, so um, let's uh, let's talk about this year, right? So actually, last year I have written a book about unlocking your destiny, um, which is a transformation about how I transition from a really scarcity mindset to a very abundant mindset. It is totally different. Like I tell you, the things that comes to you are totally different. The thinking, the people come in and out. Is you know the the universe is all set for you. I if you just read my book, I, I share with all the eight steps that I have gone through and I actually put them into very simple exercise. So you just do it chapter by chapter. It's so fun. Like this is like a fun book. It's not like a 300 page. It's only 100 pages and it's so fun to read uh, because again, action is the key. It's not about how many pages you read. It's about how many work you put into the book right so stay tuned i'm going to launch the book within this year and at the same time i'm going to run a quest which is a 21 day quest about how you can actually 
shift your mindset. We'll have like daily challenges. It's even more exciting so that I can hold you accountable in a group that we will share about uh, what our motivations, how we set our goals, how we are tracking our goals, everything. It's so cool, so cool. So, and it's only 21 days, so it becomes uh, a short, lovely quest that we are all enjoying. So really stay tuned. Um, it's going to be launching probably in June this year. Sure. And because this is the uh, uh, like community uh, for the female entrepreneurs, business owners, in Asia, but also globally, and also like for the men who are watching this video, I, w I have to ask you because in Asia there is a like kind of stereotype that people uh, work as a crazy, so they don't have a balance between uh, private and, and professional. So, what is your uh, method of relaxation? How do you find the energy to be in front of the front of the camera every single day to write the book and all these things you are doing? How you re-energize yourself? Oh, I didn't really have like a routine, but I think first of all, um, since young, I have a I have a discipline that I will set an alarm every morning because I think for me personally, morning is morning. It's my most productive and optimizing time. So I don't want to waste my morning. I know some people they work really late and then they wake up so late. Maybe that's the style, but it's not my style. I like to wake up early. But early, I don't mean like 5 a.m. I know somebody is like in the 5 a.m. club. I'm, I'm not that person. I, I wake up around like 7, 7.30 and I actually start working at 10. So in the morning, I actually don't need to rush. Like some people, wow, they, they, they just spend like 15 minutes and then they, they rush here, rush, rush there. Mm -hmm. Then they don't have really set their intention. They didn't ground themselves and then they start going to work. They don't really know what they're doing, right? So one of the things that I always ask myself in the morning is uh, what is my intention? Um, what is the thing that I feel grateful for? And um, what do I need to focus today? Because you can't focus on too many things, right? I put maximum three things I want to focus for. And I just start with the easiest one. Because I want to have small wins very quickly. Like I want to do like things and then, okay, boom, cross it out. I, I do it um, so that I feel more alive and I feel more excited about the entire day going, right? So this is very key. And at night, I will always um, celebrate, do a small celebration, right? A lot of people, they, they treat themselves so hard, like, oh, I need to do everything or I need to achieve six figure the next month so that I will celebrate myself. No, I don't think we work like this way. We need to celebrate small. If we don't appreciate small things, you won't build a habit to appreciate big things, right? So this is so key that we need to uh, write down what are our wins every night and how we can do it better for tomorrow so that we're always in that constant growing mode. Do you think the majority of people in the world are ordinary people or extraordinary people? I would say we, we, we have to give ourselves permission to be the best version of ourselves. And that's not DNA. That's just our mindset. Our mindset is something which our stops and culture have actually sometimes bad impact on how we should actually discover ourselves because we need to follow the standards of the norms of the society instead of the follow our own norms. Just as you explain, you move from one place to another place and everybody said, maybe that's not okay or I don't know, they judge you, but that, then you, you are now in the new place where you actually find the better version of yourself. And that's exactly, I think, what we all have to do. Yeah, exactly. Because... Um, in most of the culture, most of the people, they're actually ordinary people. The majority, I would say, you know, like majority of people, they're ordinary people. And those ordinary people create those standards, right? Because those standards are built by the majority and it becomes a culture. But if you want to be extraordinary, you need to do things that ordinary people don't do so that you get the results of what ordinary people don't get, right? Yeah, so basically it means extraordinary people, you do something that is different from the culture. Therefore, don't listen to your culture. Just listen to your heart. Trust yourself, do whatever that you believe you should be doing and just take that leap. Don't ask for anybody's permission because they are ordinary people. And I know that the person you are watching this video, you are extraordinary. So do extraordinary things. 
you are living uh, the one of the best part of your life and we are all inspired with your story and i'm looking forward to see your book and and to be in touch with you please whenever you have something which you would like to share your motivational video for all of us we all need your energy so and for all of you guys who are watching this video please connect with chef and and watch her uh, what she's doing on her on her platform or platforms and be inspired with her connect with her work together and don't be ordinary be extraordinary for sure thank you Thank you so much, Edwin, for having me today. Thank, Thank you. you.